my fellow wizards. Today I want to talk about an absolutely overpowered balance amulet that no one ever seems to mention, and there's a good chance you may not even know it exists. This amulet not only gives you a balance blade and faint, which is already insane, but you can also get it for free without needing to open packs starting as early as level 25. Crazy, right? With both a feint and a balance blade item card, this thing is great for offense and support, especially since in many cases, unless you spend crowns on packs, the earliest you get a free option for feint and balance blade item cards is from pet hatching or level 50 and beyond with amulets like Jewel of the Feint or the Crafted Winter Tusk Chieftain's Helm for balance. You can also stack the feint and balance blade it gives with both pet cards and your regular blades and feints to create a truly devastating combo to annihilate any boss or mob you come upon. You heard me right, it's finally time for balance supremacy. Since balance already tends to have lower damage and gets a much weaker blade in comparison to other schools, this amulet is an absolute game changer and allows lower level wizards especially to have a much easier time progressing. Now, so I don't leave you in suspense any longer, what's the name of this absolutely broken amulet? It's called the Dalai Lama's Harmony Vial and it can be gotten from the Hollow Mountain Dungeon in Kembalong Village. Yes, this amazing gear piece is actually tucked away in one of the most overlooked early dungeons. You get access to Kembalong Village starting at level 25 from a quest from Sergeant Major Talbot in Krakatopia, and you'll eventually be able to take this teleport from Krakatopia to the boat, which will transport you to Kembalong Village, which is actually technically in Mushu for some reason. Anyway, once you're there, you first have to complete the quest for the first dungeon before Hollow Mountain called the Bogota of Harmony, but thankfully it's pretty straightforward. The Bogota of Harmony has two mob fights followed by the storm boss Sutsui. The only annoyance here is that the mobs tend to shield spam, but otherwise none of them have any cheats to worry about. The one thing you may want to take note of, however, are the symbols in each room, since you'll need to remember those later for a puzzle in Hollow Mountain. Alright, once you finish the Pagoda of Harmony at least once, you'll get another quest to go to Hollow Mountain. Unfortunately, to get your prize, you will need to complete the entire dungeon as only the last boss in Hollow Mountain, Master Tonkatsu, drops this particular amulet. However, thankfully, this dungeon is also pretty straightforward. Please note before you go in that all the drops for this dungeon are school locked, meaning you will only get drops for your main school. A storm wizard cannot get balance drops, for example, so you do need to use a balance wizard for this dungeon if you want a chance at the correct amulet. First, you'll fight a few mobs including the woolly bullies and hoof ninjas before making your way to a puzzle. While these mobs are kind of annoying, there is a chance that they will drop a lower tier version of the amulet called the Monk's Charm of Aplomb, which does not give a balance blade, but does give a handy faint item card. When you reach the bottom of this ramp, you'll see the optional Temple Guardian boss who you can choose to fight by failing the puzzle or skip entirely if you get the puzzle correct. You need to select the correct symbols that you saw in the earlier Pagoda of Harmony dungeon and then select this symbol at the end before activating the brazier to solve the puzzle. There's no real reason to fight the Temple Guardian, but I will note that he also drops a lower tier version of the balance amulet called the Path of the Harmony amulet that, similar to the Monk's Charm of Aplomb, will give you a faint item card. Once you've solved the puzzle, you'll enter Hamakala's mausoleum and face a few more mobs before the final boss fight. The first fight involves fighting more hoof ninjas, and the second has the boss Zhu Wuneng, but he has very low health, so he acts more as an elite mob than a boss. Note that Zhu Wuneng can also drop the lower tier Monk's Charm of Aplomb amulet mentioned earlier. Once you've passed these fights, you'll find yourself facing the deliciously named Master Tonkatsu and get your chance at nabbing the Dalai Lama's Harmony Vial. Now, I won't lie, at level 25, this boss can be a bit of a challenge if you're not prepared. He hits hard with a lot of his storm spells, and his bull minions can be quite annoying if left unchecked. The Spirit Bull spams shields and weaknesses. The Mind Bull can use Smokescreen, Cleanse Ward, Pierce, Stuns, Healing Hands, and Donate Power. And the Body Bull can stack blades and traps on you and your teammates. This is definitely a battle that you don't want to go on too long, so I definitely recommend getting rid of the minions as quickly as possible to prevent them stacking too many annoying spells, ideally with a buffed AoE from your strongest hitter. Once they're gone, you can focus on finishing off Master Tonkatsu, who is much less threatening without his support. Note also that every single round of the fight, Master Tonkatsu will summon help from the statue of Hamakala, who will deal 100 balance damage to every wizard, so you definitely don't want this fight to drag on. If you're doing this at level 25, I really recommend a full team with dedicated hitters and supports, but if you're struggling, you can always come back at a slightly higher level and give it another shot. After the fight, you'll hopefully get your amulet, but if not, there is a second chance chest if you want another shot at the drop at the cost of crowns. Even if you don't get the amulet, this dungeon can drop some pretty nice gear that are an upgrade from the available bizarre gear you've had access to until now. The wands are also pretty neat and make cool stitches if that's something that interests you. 
I think this dungeon often gets overlooked because of its closeness and level to the level 30 Mount Olympus dungeon, which has major gear upgrades until level 60, and the amazing Sky Iron Hosta Wand, but it's too bad because clearly Pagoda of Harmony and Hollow Mountain also have some pretty amazing gear to offer. Once you get the Dalai Lama's Harmony Vial, you're pretty much set until the late game amulet-wise, and I would argue this amulet is still useful even at max level, depending on your setup and role. The item cards it gives are just too good to pass on and give any balance wizard a serious edge in battle. Look out, boys, there's a new menace in the spiral to watch out for. Alright, my fellow wizards, that's how you get the absolutely overpowered Dalai Lama's Harmony Vial Amulet. What are some other rare or overlooked items you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and as always, I hope to see you out there in the spiral, and happy questing!